Hello, my name is Jade Lion, and we are back with another episode of One Shot. We're in a dream again, so let's let's see what's happening. Is that Nico's mom? Aww. Pancakes. Yes. Nico is so adorable. <laughs> Jasmine, I had another dream. Mama was there. Did you see her? I did. She made me pancakes. I think it was my birthday? Because people always get their favorite food in their birthday. A whole lot of it. Do you have a birthday too? I do have a birthday. Oh, then what's your favorite food? Is it pancakes? Wait, do you like pancakes? I fucking love pancakes, Nico, yes. Why do you even have to ask? Me too. On my last birthday, I ate ten of them. I was so full I didn't eat anything else that day. My mama makes the best pancakes, and some of the neighbors make really good noodles. And oh, one of our neighbors make a lot of bread. Do you have any neighbors? Yes, I do. Oh, do they share their food with you? I actually don't know any of my neighbors. Is that weird? Oh well. No, they, they won't give me any food. That's not very nice of them. Our neighbors and my mama take turns making food for the whole village each day. Everyone takes a turn doing chores and watching the little kids. I miss everyone. I've been gone for a while now, haven't I? I wonder if they're worried about me. Ah, speaking of helping out, we should probably go now. Yeah, the sooner we get the sun back, then the sooner Nico can go home and eat some more pancakes. Alright, so where we left off, we got some dirt. So let's go save the plant lady. I went the wrong way. Let's go save her life. Or I guess bring her back to life, because she's kind of dead right now. I hope this helps you grow, a little seed. The seed's in the soil, but it looks a bit dry. I have just the solution. Good thinking, Jasmine. Water should help the seed grow. Hmm, the dirt's nice and moist now, but what if it dries out? There's only so much water from this little tube. I'll hold onto the tube for now, just in case. What? What do you mean? <laughs> do I have to find more water? There was a bathroom somewhere. Maybe we could get some from a sink? Let's use the light bulb on it. We've given it dirt and water, but will that be enough? But use the sun. Little Lorax moment. Let it grow. Um, is this water? If this is water, then we shouldn't have a problem. It's not water. What is it then? Is it actually glow stick sauce, like I thought? <laughs> now we have to find some more water. I want to see if we can, like, turn on the sink in that bathroom, maybe? Bathroom, bathroom, bathroom. I don't know where it was. Oh, there was a whole area over here that we just didn't explore, so maybe we should do that. I will check the bathroom first, though. Hello? Sink? Right, I can refill this tube with more water here. Yeah, I'm so smart. Okay. Before we give the seed more water, though, I want to explore down here. We had some coffee. Coffee cups. I'm too young to drink coffee. You're never too young to have a caffeine addiction, Nico. So this is a little library. That's cute. Hello, Mr. TV man. Hey there. Hello. You the messiah? Mm-hmm. I like your scarf. Thank you. Mama made it for me. I like your scarf, too! Tell her I like her needlework. I will, when I see her again. Scarf boys. Hello? <gasps> the fridge has magnets on it! <gasps> A button, perhaps? Did I take all the magnets? I feel like I only need one. Jesus, Nico. Okay. I think we can use that as our little magnet. That's exciting. Is that all there is down here? Looks like I can unlock this door. Hello? Okay, I, I could have sworn there was someone at my door. Am I being haunted? Maybe. That'd be kinda cool. That'd be exciting. That'd be quirky. Anyways, what's in here? Oh, this is the door from earlier in the hallway. Um, let's go water the seed and then we can put the magnet on the elevator. Actually, let's just do the elevator right now, since we're here. The man said something about magnets, but I don't see a way to fit these in the panel by themselves. Do I need the tape? Is that what the tape is for? Let's go get the tape. I I have scissors now, so I can take the tape. It's all coming together. Oh, yeah. I don't know where the tape is. That's kind of an issue. I'm sure we'll stumble upon it at some point. Tape time? I think it might be tape time. Tape time? Yeah, it's tape time. Yes! Okay, let's get those scissors. Tape. Tape dispenser. 
If I cut off a piece of tape to keep it, it would just lose its stickiness. Well... I don't know what you want me to do, Nico. <laughs> um... Oh, maybe we can make a button out of this. Oh! I can cut out a piece of the can and fold it into a rectangle shape. Just like arts and crafts. That was... Hmm, I don't think it's supposed to be this simple. How are we going to connect it to the elevator? Well, let's find out. I had the pieces all along, and... It didn't do it. <laughs> okay. Oh, did I destroy the scissors? Button? Question mark? Can I attach this to the magnets? The magnets don't stick to the aluminum, but... Oh, what if I just folded the magnets under this edge? Hmm. It's holding together, if just barely. I hope that's good enough. Magnetized button? Let's get some tape on there, maybe. Tape dispenser. Oh, of course! I gotta tape it together or it might fall apart. Good thinking, Jasmine. I know, you don't have to tell me, Nico, but I appreciate it. My love language is words of affirmation. That's a lie, it's quality time, but you know, it's a close second. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> now we have all that we need. That's very exciting. Let's water the plant first. Hello, Maze. Maze's daughter. We've given it dirt and water, but will that be enough? Oh, can I not give it more water? Okay, it's a little weird. Let's go put the button on the elevator. Hello, I have the solution. Let's hope this works. Oh yeah. Oh no. Hmm. <laughs> Bit of a problem. Reactivating elevator services. Please input security code to continue. What? That's never happened before. The squares? Huh? You saw them, right? They were on the door and- no, nah, the square stuff happens all the time. I meant the whole security code thing. But then again, the elevator hasn't been this broken before. Hmm. I guess we should go look for a code, Jasmine. Guess we should. Alright, Nico. Um, <laughs> I don't know where to find that. Anyone in here who can help us? Oh, wait. Isn't it just- Isn't it this? Okay. <laughs> I completely forgot that that existed. Yo, I have the security code. I got it from a mysterious computer man. Okay, 63014. Yeah? Yes. What was- what did I just say? What? It works! I don't know what you did, but it actually works. Good job, kid. You're a genius, you know, you know that? Well, I had help from Jasmine, too. We all know who the brains of the operation is here. And the brawn. Oh, right. The whole messiah business. Anyway, ready to go? I'll be up ahead. Alright. Oh, thank you for holding the elevator door open for me, mister. No prob, hop in. We vibin', we chillin'. Okay. This is awkward. Sure is taking a while. Mm-hmm. Oh, goodness gracious, I'm stuck in an elevator with the messiah and also literally God himself. This is awkward. Oh, maybe we can chat to pass the time, then. <laughs> you heard me? I mean, sure. Alright, Jasmine, should I... Hmm, what should we ask about? I want to know about your job. So, what do you do at your job? You seem really busy. I, uh, I fix lights, mostly. But now I also deliver and refill high-energy phosphor to structures that need them. High energy? You know, the super-concentrated glowy stuff they had to process in factories. It's what powers most of the city's stuff. Is that what the glow stick sauce is? Oh my god. Ooh! We used to have a small army of delivery robots doing that. But lately a bunch of them have been breaking down. So until they fix them, I'll just have more work on my plate. I haven't slept in so long. When will the robots get fixed? I have no idea. It's all up to the scientists over at the labs. But they seem really concerned about something else lately. Oh? Never a good sign when even the smart folks are worried. What are they worried about? <laughs> What's going on in this city, sir? The city is very big. It's smaller than it looks. Getting pretty crowded, too. First there was the refugees from the Barrens, and now more Glen folks are moving in, too. Oh? It's just safer here, you know? I mean, it's not a haven by any means. That square stuff we just saw? We get more of that here than anywhere else, apparently. I noticed. We're lucky it only seems to affect the city's infrastructure. Landmass itself is still holding up. Which is good, since there isn't much solid land here in the first place. Let's ask about the library. Can you tell me about the library? I'm supposed to go there. Oh yeah, that's one of my main delivery spots. Those reading lights are pretty high maintenance, but I always feel out of place surrounded by smart people. 
Well, I guess you're pretty smart yourself, so you'll fit in fine. Wait, were we not at the library? Or was that just a random room? Okay, whatever. You and Jasmine. Oh, thank god. I thought the elevator got stuck. Anyway, it was nice meeting you, uh, Nico. Right, see you around, kid. Gotta run now. Ooh. He's so fast. He seems in a hurry. I guess we should hurry too, Jasmine. People are counting on us. Let's go find that library. Why are we going to the library again? I don't remember. Hello? Beep boop. Beep boop. Good talk. Hello? <sighs> you alright? Ah, the messiah. Perhaps this is a sign. Tell me, do you think you can fix the world with the sun? Honestly, I don't know. I've been getting mixed messages. I know. But what do you think? I think... I think I should listen to Jasmine. After all, Jasmine helped me get this far. I will take your faith for an answer, then. What do you mean by that? It means whatever you think it means. You are very cryptic. I don't really like cryptic people standing in alleys, so I'm gonna leave. Thanks for the input, though. Now there's some arrows, and I'm inclined to believe that they know where I should go, but I'm not gonna listen to those. Hello? Oh, this is adorable. It's a big fish tank. Oh, hey there. You have a lot of fish. Yeah, I'm worried about them. Oh, I heard something about how the square particle stuff just took out a major pipeline. I guess I should take advantage of the running water while I still can. Yeah, that'd kind of be good. Seems important. What else we got? There's stairs down there. Hello. You look adorable. Evening news, evening news. Are you here to purchase a copy? No. Newspapers are for grown-ups. Grown-ups? Yeah. What does that mean? Why did I go with a Cockney accent for this robot? We'll never know. It means people who aren't kids. Kids? Uh, aren't you a kid? I am a robot. Right. I would like some evening news, actually. That seems useful, but never mind. What's down here? We got some little docks, it seems like. Lots of glow stick juice. Oh, hello. Hello, person. The library is up ahead. Thanks. Ooh. Wait, let's talk to you first. When the world ends, it, would it be better if it was gone in an instant or slowly fading away? To be honest, I'd rather the former. Why do I keep coming across people brooding in the streets? I mean, the world's gonna end, I get that. So I guess that makes sense. Okay, before we go to the library, I kinda wanna check out what those arrows were pointing at. Actually, let's go down here first. What is this? It's locked from the inside. Okay. We'll worry about that later. So they weren't actually sending me towards the library. Hello? It's a trash bin. Oh, now we're in a back alley. This makes me uncomfortable. You come again? Jasmine, did you see what happened? Uh-huh. My vision went blank for a second, and then I saw something. Like a really short dream. I wonder what that was about. That was very weird. Okay. Just hanging out in a wet random alley. Nothing strange about this. This is a long alley. Oh my god. Hello? There's some big plastic discs in here. Looks like they're supposed to go in something. Wait, Jasmine, are we really going to take these with us? But they look so heavy. Alright. You're a big, strong Nico. I believe in you. Hey, they're actually pretty light. Oh, that's good. What are they? Oh, we got a lot of them. Okay. I'm sure that'll be in some puzzle or another later. Jar full of red glowing fluid. So we've gone from shrimp to fireflies to goo. I don't know. A lantern plant. There's a note attached. It says, thank you for working so hard, Mr. Lamplighter. A bed. The blanket has quite a few patches. Oh, so this is someone's home. It's a big book. The title says, Understanding Robots. Oh, that's another one of Kip's books. Okay. At least I think that's Kip's book. Could be wrong. Oh. Are you okay, little man? P please do not approach. Okay. I guess I'll leave you to it. Eey. What's up here? <gasps> Is that the little fox that uh, Alula was talking about? Wait a minute. Whoa, Jasmine, did you see that fox just now? It just ran behind the tree. I'm sorry if you were looking for me, but I cannot talk to you. Not now. Um. But 
Can you promise me something? Huh? If you can find a way to return, please do. Uh, what do you mean by that? No reply. Return when and from where? What do you mean? There's no one here. That was really weird. Okay. Could've used some more answers from that conversation, for sure. What's up here? Hello? Hey kid, want some soup dumplings? They're guaranteed to contain only a minimal amount of industrial byproducts. I'll pass. Hello? This smells kinda nice. What is it? Breaded fish! I toasted the bread myself. I see. That seems unsanitary. Not gonna lie. Hello? Are you here for your photos? No? Alrighty then. I'll just, uh, stand here. Photos? Of what? What do you have? This stand smells a bit like burnt sugar. Yep, still getting the hang of making these fried candy skewers. They don't taste too bad though, you want one? It's okay, thank you. I want one. What about you? Hey, hey! Ready for me to blow your mind? Absolutely. Okay, so I've invented a medicine to prepare everyone for the upcoming water shortage. All you gotta do is dissolve one of these pills in water, and then you drink the water. And then you never need to drink water again. That seems a little too good to be true, sir. Do you never drink water again because it kills you? Is that what you're saying? What? It also makes plants grow faster. How does it work? Well, here, why don't you take a free sample? Oh, thanks. Can I use that on maze? Don't thank me, go spread the word. Thank you, oh my god. <laughs> that will be wonderful. Oh, there's so much to explore. Hello? I'm a little overwhelmed, there's a lot going on. <laughs> okay. Weird. All right. I'll come back to that later, I guess. Is this the tower? Wait. <laughs> Wait, is this literally just the tower? Okay, wow. We're here. Let's save the world. No, that can't be the tower. Looks like I can un unlock this door. Oh, nice, nice. We love fast travel. How are you guys doing on this fine day? It's a Saturday for me. No idea when I'll upload this, but you know, we'll, we'll see. Could disappear for another two weeks again. I think that'd be very cool of me. Why did I go back this way? We'll never know. Anyways, let's go to the library, finally. <laughs> Hello? Who are you? What? What? I, I didn't say anything. Well, stop staring at me then. I was just looking at your book. Yes, you were in the library. There's books in the library. Um, go bug the chatty one upstairs, okay? The author's books cover a wide range of topics. It seems there are no subjects he doesn't write about. Quite the renaissance man, don't you think? I guess so. But he's been focusing on documenting the world as of late. Oh? They say the city is the last bastion of civilization. Soon these books may be the only thing we have to remember the rest of the world by. Ah. Still not clear on who the author is. Okay, are you the chatty one I've heard so much about? Oh, hello, do you need directions? Let's see, this area here is mostly historical accounts. The reference section is downstairs, and uh, I'm not sure where the children's section is, sorry. That's okay, I'm not really looking for books. Oh, are you here to look for the author then? No? Oh, that's good. Uh, I mean, that means you won't be disappointed. I've been volunteering here for months and I've never seen him, not even once. He works together with a head librarian on publishing, so you'd think he would at least show up once in a while, but he doesn't? Yeah, he seems kinda reclusive, which is weird for a guy who supposedly travels the world. Maybe it's just around people. I mean, yeah, you can you can travel the world and not talk to anybody. The computer, it's currently off. If I have to talk to the computer person one more time, I will be so sad. <laughs> Hello. The author is so cool. I already can travel all over the world with a flying machine. Is that the, wait, is that the, the guy who trades with the, the bird lady? That's how he gathers material for his books. Wow. It's all coming together, guys. And who are you? Um, what are you doing to that book? Don't worry, these are my own books that I wrote. I just pulled them off the shelves to modify them. I have to cross out some sections, most sections. Huh? How come? Because otherwise they'll think I copied him. Him? The author. I mean, I really don't see the point of writing anything anymore. The author is just going to write about the same thing, and then everyone will love it. And nobody's gonna remember the books that came up before his. Oh, uh, 
I mean, I ain't hatin'. I can see why people go nuts over his stuff. That guy's got major talent. But it just hurts, you know? Guys, I... Uh, my... I'm... S <laughs> my phone camera just crashed and corrupted everything I just recorded. So... I, I mean, I guess you guys have noticed this, but apparently we're not gonna have a camera for this episode. That's fine. It's okay. I also did not read most of the, this person's lines, so I'm very sorry. <laughs> so, what do you think about the author? I don't know. Have you read his stuff yet? If not, you should. Okay. Big book with a black clover on the cover. The title says, A Comprehensive Guide to Phosphors. Oh! Oh, we get to actually read it. Okay. Okay, so this is the red phosphor that we have here. Out of all the common phosphor, red phosphor is of the lowest energy. It exists exclusively in mineral form and can only give light when in solution. One major caveat is that the phosphor in this supersaturated solution will precipitate out rather quickly. As soon as the phosphor recrystallizes, it loses its glow permanently. Interesting. So is Kip the author? Are the clover books his? The author publishes books at a highly accelerated, mostly in human pace. In fact, he has put out more books in one year than most authors do in a lifetime. According to the head librarian, there is still a large amount of material he has written, but not yet published. One cannot help but to wonder where he can get so much done in so little time. I did the calculations, and the numbers simply do not add up. Maybe he can stop time? No such mechanism exists in the world. Is that actually possible in your home dimension? No, I just saw it in a movie once. About superheroes and stuff. They're going through these pages really fast. Actually, it's mostly pictures. Oh? Yeah, the author doesn't only write books, he also illustrates them. Sometimes he makes books out of only pictures. Neat! That is neat. Alright. We're learning a lot about the author, but not who he is. Hello? Excuse me. Oh, you are the Messiah. Welcome. When I first entered the city, a big robot told me to look for a library on the surface. This is the same library, right? Affirmative. Oh, goody. Well, we're here. What do we do now? The big robot only said there'd be clues here. Is that a question for the head librarian, George? Allow me to call her. Yes, I would love to meet her. Oh, taking a minute. <laughs> she seems a little busy. She is not picking up. Yeah, that was pretty pretty evident there. <laughs> is she not here? She is here. She is in the archival room upstairs. When she is concentrating on her work, she will ignore any and all phone calls. For several days. Yikes. Can you go get her in person then? Leaving this post is not in my programming. Then can I go myself? Of course. The archival room is accessible through the stairwell behind me. Gotcha, thanks. Unauthorized entry. Library card required for further access. Wait, what? Library card required for further access. I don't have a library card, though. Where can I get one? This is a question for the head librarian, George. Allow me to call her. Please don't. Oh my god. Me too. Me too. She is not picking up. I figured. Are you sure you can't just let me through? Letting you through without a library card is against my programming. What? Even in an emergency? My programming is not flexible. I have not been tamed. <sighs> Wait, so is that what taming is? It, like, makes it so you can not follow your programming? Interesting. I'm on my third cup. I can't feel my limbs. Um, but I have to stay awake. I need to find out how this book ends. Um, curse the author and his beautiful cliffhangers. Alright, have fun with that. Alright, well, we have made quite a bit of progress. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you can spare one. Subscribe, hit the bell, and now enjoy the speed paint.